All right, guys. So this is gonna be a review for the My Little Pony Fighting Against Magic uh, fighting game that got released not too long ago. Uh, what you're seeing right now is the original 1985 intro for My Little Pony. I thought that'd be a nice little funny, I guess, intro to this. Um, and originally, I was not excited about My Little Pony the fighting game because I'm like, why are ponies fighting? I just thought that the whole idea was a little idiotic and a little ridiculous. But upon actually spending maybe seven hours, yes, over the course of the last two days, I've been spending like at least seven hours playing this game. And I can honestly say that there's a lot of good in this game. And there's a lot of great ingenuity that went into making it. So I honestly can not say much bad about it. So we're going to get right down to the review. Alright, so the actual story for this game, I don't really think there is much of a story. There is a story mode, but it's more so an arcade mode. I guess they didn't really, I guess they had more intentions of putting an actual story in it. So, story mode in this game is pretty non existent. So, I pretty much, if you actually watch the show at all, then that kind of gives you, I guess, an uh, understanding of the actual story for My Little Pony. But other than that, there's not much story. So, I just decided to put this little clip of the show in here. Yeah, pretty much Sailor Moon with ponies. That's how I look at this show, actually. Alright, so let's get into the actual mechanics and the gameplay. So, this game is pretty standard issue when it comes to fight games. If you play games like Skullgirls or Blaze Blue, it has a lot of those same elements to it. This game features the main six characters on the actual show. Of course, you know, Pinkie Pie, Twilight Sparkle, Rainbow Dash, and Fluttershy, and rarity you know characters that people love of course because they're like the title characters now as far as the actual gameplay is concerned it's pretty similar to a lot of the fighting games like i said before especially skull girls it kind of has that you know really simple button layout um the actual layout for the game is low attack medium attack and high attack and then you have your special attack which you can use for certain attacks that are only used when your meter is there now when it comes to the actual meter system they use this game they have two different meters the one meter you see right there that says level is the meter you use for all of your hyper or super moves. The other meter right next to it, it's like a little diamond shape, is your actual magic gauge. Your magic gauge is what you use to do certain like special attacks. Now this kind of helps the game become a little balanced because certain attacks are, you know, could be used for like infinites or like really, really broken type of like um i guess scenarios or setups so that ga that gauge kind of helps to keep certain moves you know in a completely like different i guess keeps them intact so you won't be overused in certain moves because i would say for instance for rainbow dash a lot of her dashing abilities are linked to her magic gauge so you can't just keep doing dive kicks throughout the entire match you have to actually wait for your gauge to get back up to do another dive kick or to use you know the other ones so that kind of keeps the game somewhat balanced, and I do like the fact that they actually do have that, because it kind of keeps a lot of characters in check and doesn't make them so overpowered in OP. Um, every character has a standard of a few special moves, a couple of unique moves, and they have super moves. Um, not all characters have all three levels for super moves. Some characters have a level one and a level three, and others have all three. As far as the actual, like, I guess when it comes to comboing and things of that nature, the combos are pretty simple. If you play Blaze Blue or Skullgirls, you pretty much have the the general understanding of how combos work. You know, low, medium, high, and then you have your launcher that helps you do air combos in this game. As you see right now, me playing with uh, Rainbow Dash, which is my favorite character in this game. Um, combos are pretty simple to do. This game is not exactly as, I would say, complex as other fighting games, but it's very enjoyable. And its learning curve isn't as you know, daunting as a a Blaze Blue or a Skull Girls or a Guilty Gear. So you still have fun, but people who are good at those games would have a lot of fun playing because they remember those same mechanics that are right and still in this game. But it's not just a clone of those games. It has its own flavor, of course, because you're playing with ponies, so they do have attacks that are geared towards more of what a horse would do versus what a human would do. Even though they do have a lot of anamorphic like moves, like punching with their hoofs, which is hilarious, but it kind of gives its own, like, identity when it comes to fighting games which i do like there are familiar move sets in this game too so i won't say that this game is completely just without its own like shared like mechanics and stuff from other games but it is fun and i do think this is actually a really well put together game especially for 
the subject matter. You wouldn't think ponies would be doing long juggles and things like that, but they found a way to actually make it pretty fun. So I give them complete props for making this game as great as they did. All right, so the audio and visual presentation. I think that the audio in this game could have been done a little bit better, I think, in terms of some of the attacks for the most part, especially the one that really stuck out the most was Pinkie Pie's level 3 attack, where she squeezes you really, really tight. There's no sound effect at all, or if there is, it's very, very muffled, or you can't really hear it. So I think that could have been done, and a few other attacks as well. But as far as the actual music for the game, I thought it sounded great. Um, if you watched any of the television shows, it's so, I mean, the music in this game sounds like something you would hear in the actual TV show. And the actual visuals for this game looks like the television show. So I think that this game scores big on as far as keeping true to the actual nature of the show. And, you know, staying true to what, you know, the show's about as far as the way the game, the game looks and how it plays and how everything comes together as far as the effects and stuff. So it doesn't take itself too seriously and it keeps this very, you know, kitty, I would say, look to it, which is what the show's about. Oh, magic and fighting and friendship. Alright, so my conclusion to this game is that I think this is a well-made fighting game. I've played quite a few fighting games over the last few years, especially since, you know, fighting games have become, I guess, one of the more mainstream genres, and it has been in quite some time, so I feel like this game especially did a great job taking a franchise that wouldn't necessarily be a fighting game that I can think of and turn it into a pretty legit fighting game. Um, it has a pretty good gameplay. Um, its art style is well done. The music is pretty good. There may have been some bumps around the road as far as the audio is concerned with the attacks and special attacks, but in essence, everything else came together quite well. Um, I really enjoy playing this game. I'm not even a fan of the actual um, show at all. I'm not a fan of My Little Pony. I'm not a brony. But I do find this game to be great. I do find it to be quite enjoyable. And if you're a fighting game person, I think this is a game you might want to actually play. And if you're a fan of the show, you definitely should play it just for the fan service alone. I mean, any show that has ponies and they turn to it a fighting game, or any type of game for that matter, you should definitely try to play it. So I think this is a really great game. All right, thanks for listening to, well, thanks for listening and watching our review for My Little Pony Fighting Is Magic. Uh, if you have any comments, leave it in the comments um, below for this video. And of course, share it with other people, share it with your brony friends, share it with your non-brony friends. Um, and also check out our Facebook page at facebook.com backslash Rushdown Radio for news and whatnot in the video game world.